Do you think twice where you store information? Do you think even longer how to retrieve this later? In this video, you will realize exactly the reason why this is happening and how to avoid it in the future. Let's dive in. Here we are on the ICO framework. It's part of the ICO methodology where we analyze the tools that we are using based on their functionalities. All right. And here on top, we just in the personal knowledge management area. And down here, we have the personal project management area for task management. Let's focus on top and let's say it looks like this or similar to this. So many of our busy professionals have about this amount, maybe a different set of tools, but of PKM tools without even knowing. They switch tools, they start on off using certain tools and so on. If this is happening, well, a paper notebook might serve you better than using any of these tools because here you start to scatter information. If you're not crystal clear what tool you use for what, there might be a reason to use all these tools, but you need to be aware of them. And we have some very complex tools in here like Tana, Heptabase, Obsidian and Capacities, right? But then you use in addition to Remarkable and uh, Apple Notes and maybe even a piece of paper. And this is what causes the confusion if you start jotting down things in the place where you maybe just at. Maybe it's very convenient to quickly jot something down in Remarkable because you're sitting in a meeting. Maybe you're already in Heptabase and you write down things there. And this is what's happening. And if you're one of our members and use the tool too, you see when you open up the space that you get the secondary categories here where you have to choose what you're using the tool for. So for example, you use Heptabase for deep thinking and visual thinking while you use Apple Notes for quick capture and shallow thinking, boom, I immediately differentiated these two tools. And now I know I'm using this just for quick capturing and just for shallow thoughts. But there might be also the, the point where you just use it as a utility application. So if you use Apple Notes just because it's convenient to quickly capture information, do it but then use it as an utility app and make sure it's just a workflow optimization to quickly capture information and then move it into the final destination, let's say Heptabase or whatever you choose. So we removed already one. We could do the same for Remarkable. You can chart things down. Maybe you can draw some diagrams that you think it's so much easier, but then define the final destination where this should go to the final insights that you got. And I made another video about why ChatGPT, for example, is not a PKM system. This would fall into the same thing. Let's, for the sake of it, let's add ChatGPT2 and this becomes a utility app. If you add this here and you try to find the conversation you had with ChatGPT about something, the moment you really need it, you will struggle. But by making it a utility app, adding it to your routines that you process the information into the final destination, this will make sure the moment you need to look up something, it can be now only one of these four tools. And now think deeply, which of these tools serve you most and kill the rest? because they have a lot in common and mostly the complexity. There's so much you can do in these tools. So if possible, try to remove as many PKM systems as you can to end up just with one. Even that you feel friction now, it's still better than having the friction later to think about where to retrieve the information. So let's say now I'm only using Heptabase for everything. Well then here you still have the quick capture optimization process. You quickly capture things here, but then you move the final results in here or you keep it in here because it wasn't relevant at all. And by doing this, you get a lot more clarity how to process it. Another thing that people struggle with is that they capture something, they have an amazing idea, but then they follow up directly the idea and dive really deep into this. If this is something you're struggling with too, I made another video about this, how you decouple capturing from the thinking process that I recommend you to watch your next. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so I can catch you up in the next one.